Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I uh, will briefly summarize the key elements of my bill, H.R. 3556, the Increasing Financial Regulatory Accountability and Transparency Act. I will begin with some key facts. We recently witnessed a bank run and failure of Silicon Valley Bank described to us repeatedly as an idiosyncratic bank with poor management. Supervision failures, especially regarding a lack of sufficient focus on interest rate risk, contributed to the failure. Over the course of a weekend, Treasury, the Fed, the FDIC, and other federal and state regulators let a bank run turn into a systemic event. Emergency systemic tools were used by regulators, resulting in a substantial loss to the deposit insurance fund, and the banking system has been fragile ever since. The chairman, ranking member, and many members of this committee stood behind use of those tools at the time in the interest of restoring calm in the markets. In contrast, while the president did address the public to help restore calm, he also irresponsibly threw politics in the, into the mix, falsely accusing his predecessor of rolling back regulations, even though what he spoke of had nothing to do with the bank runs. Meanwhile, members of this committee promptly asked for information and details from regulators about what happened and why. Unfortunately, rather than being responsive to information requests from this committee, the Regulators Authorizing Committee, the Fed's Vice Chair for Supervision, the FDIC Chairman, and other regulators wrote their own hasty reviews of the problems to quickly set a narrative. Those reviews made no mention of the Fed's own monetary policy failures, the Fed's wildly inaccurate assessment of inflation as transitory, its delayed of monetary normalization leading to precipitous tightening and a rapid rise in interest rates, which made bank interest rate risk management more challenging. Vice Chair Barr led a review that in thinly veiled ways attempted but failed to reinforce the President's finger pointing at regulatory changes made under the previous administration. During the politicized self-assessments by regulators, requests from this committee were sidelined and slow walked. This recent experience identifies a clear need to put sunshine on the opaque federal regulators of the financial system, including the Financial Stability Oversight Council, or FSOC, which was asleep at the wheel, distracted by an obsession with a speculative and remote risk of climate, instead of the concrete and immediate risk of rapidly rising interest rates that the Fed itself created. This uh, leads to the conclusion that FSOC did absolutely nothing to promote financial stability in a panic. My bill provides additional sunlight by requiring increased accountability and transparency from the Fed, FDIC, and FSOC in general and during periods when emergency measures are invoked. The Increasing Financial Regulatory and Accountability and Transparency Act enhances FDIC transparency by increasing the reporting and documentation requirements of emergency actions, the actions taken to secure a resolution with the least costs to the deposit insurance fund, and systemic risk determinations. Federal Reserve transparency by requiring more documentation and increased guardrails around any future 13-3 facilities. And FSOC transparency by taking back congressional power given away in the Dodd-Frank Act and reducing the ability of the council to push partisan policies of the current administration. It also requires the vice chair for supervision position to have supervisory experience to ensure the focus is on bank supervision and not extraneous issues outside the scope of the Fed's mission. And it increases federal regulatory transparency by requiring that the FDIC, OCC, and NCUA submit testimony and detailed reports and appear, for, appear before the committee. The recent bank runs and systemic instability reveal that the federal financial regulators and Treasury are opaque and non-transparent to Congress and the American people, especially in emergencies when stability of the U.S. financial system is under threat. There is a clear need for sunshine on those regulators and enhanced accountability and transparency when their failures are really uh, responsible. The Financial Services Committee is the authorizing committee for the federal regulators in question and deserves to be fully informed, especially when situations call for possible legislation. My bill enables Congress and the American people to be more fully informed about what the regulatory state is doing and provides the necessary enhancements of transparency and accountability. And for that reason, I urge my colleagues to support the legislation, and I yield back.